What's up, y'all? Today I got myself some Hejong Gook, which is hangover soup. Korean staple, a Korean classic. I'm not sure if I've ever had it before because usually, actually every time I'm hungover, I always never think to eat soup. Does that even make sense? I don't know. I am a bit hungover right now. Uh, not too bad, enough to get out and do a video, but other than that, that's probably all I'm doing today, to be honest with you. So let's see what we have in here. I don't know anything about this, by the way, so if I look like, you know, a noob, and I don't know how to explain stuff well, then it's just because, yeah, like I said, I don't think I've ever had this. So in the bag, some interesting contents. I threw in this, uh, this mask, so that's a classic touch, I guess. And we have a can of Coke, a little thing of rice, and the soup itself. This came out to $13 total, so not too bad. You know, there's definitely been days when I'm hungover and I would pay much more than $13 if I could find a viable cure for it. Let's see what we're working with. Soup in a bag. Okay. That's pretty crazy already, man. It's hot, it's real hot. I think the point of this is to kind of eat it and sweat out all the toxins. And that makes sense to me. You know? Now, I do know that there isn't just one type of Heijongguk or Korean. It's, it's more of a blanket term for any kind of, you know, soup like this that you eat after drinking a lot. I had a long day with the lads yesterday, so, you know, this could be perfect. I haven't eaten anything. It's about noon right now, and we're going to see how this eats and see if it helps me out at all. See if I can work up a good sweat. This one in particular, it did have some options for spice level. I don't think it's usually a spicy thing, but I did go with level two um, from a zero to four scale. So right in the middle there. Best believe I would have gone for level four, but I just wanted to kind of try how it's supposed to be. Just, I did add a little bit of spiciness. So let me show you real quick what we're working with. Pretty good amount here. And I like the color. This is looking really good. It's looking like a really good dinner or perhaps lunch, but not the first thing you want to open your eyes to when you can barely open your eyes in the first place. I believe this is pork spine and there's three good looking pieces of this in here. There is also what I believe is like cabbage and then a nice pretty thin but good smelling broth here. Let's dig into this. I'm going to try the broth first because I think that's what you're supposed to do. Going in. Mmm. Wow. You know what? That's delicious. That's absolutely. That's really good. Very flavorful. It's hot. Uh, you know, dare I say MSG. It's got a nice, decent little kick to it, but it's packed with flavor. And it's deep. It's really deep, really nice stuff right there. Very flavorful. Let me try this uh, this meat. So, bones kind of falling off. I respect that. Let's see if I can get a good chunk of it. Try this piece right here for now. Oh, that's that's delicious. I that's mighty fine. I have had pork spine soup, again, as a dinner type of thing. I'll tell you, never this early, not even close to this early, that's for damn sure. But this is some good stuff, and I'm, I'm, a, I'm about to be doubling back. Like, next time I have a bad hangover, I feel like. Deep, rich, salty, like I said, a little bit of spice. But no weird, like, crazy flavors, I'd say. Mostly savory. Salty. Maybe a little bit of kick from, uh, you know, the stuff like this cabbage right here. Let me try this. Nice flavor to that. It's not mixing in kind of crazy flavor combinations like sweet, sour, that much. It's just 
pretty neutral in my opinion and pretty damn good wow just a little bit hard to eat though like when i'm hungover i, I don't really want to be picking meat off the bones like this sometimes i can't even move you know those days i probably wouldn't go for this Mm. Really delicious stuff though, I'm telling you. What I'm gonna try to do is I'm just I'm gonna try to just pull off all the meat from the bones right now and then eat it like the whole thing with a spoon. If you're someone who likes meat on the bone when you're eating food, uh Korea has a lot of stuff like that for you. Personally, sometimes it's like man too much work let me just give me that bo give me that boneless you know give me the boneless special i'll tell you what though i'm feeling i'm feeling invigorated already only took a few bites but already building up a nice sweat and um i don't know like, i i've had people say before which makes sense like koreans they love to drink they love to party they know how to develop a good little hangover cure and i had this friend who was saying like you know if anyone's going to get the formula it's going to be the koreans All right, I think I got most of the meat off those bones. Now I'm just gonna go in. One other thing is the cabbage is a bit, it's a bit lengthy. Uh, looking like some tails from a swamp, man. It's kind of hard to eat. But it feels healthy, but also, that's the thing about it. It feels healthy, but also, like, it still hits. McDonald's breakfast on a regular day could make you feel pretty bad. And when you're hungover, like, it might be a temporary fix, a little band-aid, but I feel like this has potential to be, like, a long-term, a better hangover cure. With all the veg and whatnot, got some rice. What I think I'm gonna do actually is mix all this rice up in here and just make the ultimate, ultimate soup, man. Yeah, I've literally been sleeping on this. This is super filling too. Wow. Ah, forgot about this. Ah, nothing better than a hot spicy soup and a nice cold refreshing soda. Coke? Is also one of my secret hangover cures. Mm -hmm. I'm full up to the bone. I'm not sure if y'all can tell, but I'm definitely sweating something fierce. I feel like the key is you eat this, sweat it out, take a shower, and then you're really good to go. Anyway, I highly recommend this to anybody who gets hangover sometimes. If you can find this, then I recommend it. And if you can't find this specific thing, like I said, 
There is no specific Heijongguk or Korean uh, hangover soup. It's just stuff like this. When you're hungover, like it's the last thing you want to try, but it might really be worth it. Now, if you can actually get your hands on this, like from a Korean restaurant or something, uh, see, this would be good any time of the day, to be honest with you. So even if it's, you know, kind of intimidating for when you have a hangover, just go out and eat it for dinner or something. Mm. I'll tell you what, man. That'll wake you up. It'll pick you up, wake you up, slam you down. This is the equivalent of like getting cold water splashed in your face. Next time you're hungover and you want to eat something and you want to get in sweat, but you don't have a sauna just sitting around and you don't want to do laps, then eat something like this, something that make you sweat, something hot, spicy, soup, whatever and see how that treats you. All right though, y'all. Thanks for watching. Ben Dean out. Peace.